Hello everyone, so in the sixth part of the redo, we looked at how to change the output the printed common mic gave us. So for now, if we look at the counter object we created, if we remove the increment and print everything, so double click, right click print it, or we can simply press common P, we can see that it is a counter, but we don't have much info on the value it holds, and this might be valuable. So in order to change that, we have to give a look at the print on method. So let's go there and write the print on. So it takes a stream as an argument. And so we want to keep the a counter we had before. So this is a counter. But we want to add, so to add the value, we'll have have to do a stream next put next put all and we have to add with value and in order to concatenate two strings we'll use the comma and then write count and convert the count to a string with print string so this is a counter this is with value and this will add the, the actual value of count to the string. And now we'll add a carriage written. So let's save all of this and see how it works now. So we should have a counter with value 0, right? So let's print it. Counter with value 0. That's great. But now if we change this and look at starting at 23 and print this. Counter with value 23. So that's cool. That's working as expected, and it's a good time to commit what we changed. So let's go to commit, say print on method corrected uh, with value. And let's commit everything. So in this part, we'll learn how to change the output we can get with a printed command on an object we have defined. 